Hey folks, so I just did a video on my UFC predictions, now I'm going to do a video on my normal everyday stuff, um, because people who watch my MMA predictions don't want to hear about my little transsexual life, they seem to mostly just, um, not want to listen to that side of my life, and sometimes they get mad at me for being a transsexual and liking MMA, but anyway, that's a different story. Here we go. So yesterday I went to my um, therapy session and talked to Dr. Sager and she said that she's going to write me my recommendation to go on hormones next time I meet her, which will be the September 3rd. Um, so pending um, that and my doctor, um, the doctor who's going to prescribe me, the physician, um, pending positive results in my blood test and my urinalysis and um, my EKG and all that good stuff. Pending positive results on those, I will be starting hormones. So yay me. Um, once I start, like I said, I'm going to be kind of nervous um, because I hate um, the thought of injecting myself with um, with needles, but she, but my doctor said, or Dr. Sager said that um, there's less side effects with it as far as like moodiness and bitchiness with it. So um, I'm thinking I might be sticking myself with needles every day, um, which kind of scares me almost as much as the pills do. Um, so I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. I haven't really decided. Um, I'm going to talk to the physician um, to get some more information on which uh, which one I'm going to decide to do. So, pending that, I guess I'm going to start becoming a little more moody, and I hope it doesn't show in my videos, and I hope you guys can bear with me. Um, I don't think it's going to affect me too much because I'm already a bitch. <laughs> How much more bitchy can I get? We'll see. Um, anyway, I'm just kidding. Um, so, what else did I want to talk about here? Um, yes. Okay. So, before I, um, really knew what was going on, I tried my hardest to date a man, and I was still doing the whole male thing, and I met a girl, and, you know, we kind of were what I thought at the time, I thought we were like perfect for each other. So, her and I had made plans to um, do some very um, extensive bonding by getting married. Um, things didn't work out. Um, she moved. Um, ended up getting married to some other guy. Um, then she was supposedly being abused, I guess, um, by him. Um, I guess he held a gun to her head or something. So she came back to me and, you know, we resumed. Um, things were good for about a week and a half, maybe two weeks or so, uh, something like that. It wasn't too long, and then she told me that uh, he called her and apologized and that she was going back to him. Um, so she did, and she left, uh, left me kind of high and dry, um, which put a bad taste in the mouth. I think that's why I... Um, don't think I can ever have like a serious relationship with a female again. Um, that and I'm more attracted to guys anyway. But anyway, uh, so I just found out today, just a couple um, minutes ago actually, while I was talking to my friend because um, I grew up in a small town and word travels there very quickly. Um, I just found out through him that. Um, she is getting a divorce now and moving back to this small town that I used to live in. And I find it kind of funny because another friend of mine and I um, 
we're talking and we're kind of joking just a couple minutes ago also um, about how long it's going to take her to contact me. And the problem with that is, though, is that the me that she knows isn't the me that she's seen now. Um, she is, was basically with my... There's parts of me that were there that she knows, but she doesn't know my whole um, situation. She knew kind of mostly like an act for me, <clears throat> which was, you know, kind of influenced by me as a person, but, um, but wasn't really genuinely me. So we were telling, you know, we were talking about when she's going to contact me, um, because um, her parents do have my phone number, and I'm sure she will try to get, a, get in touch with me. Um, but she's going to be expecting my mail inside, and I don't have that anymore. Um, so, it's going to be funny, and I will keep you posted on to what happens there, um, because it is a part of my life, and um, I vowed to tell every little detail that is interesting in my life, because there isn't much, but when there is, I vow to tell everyone. And anyone who gets involved with me is um, going to have to accept that. I may not tell the whole story, um, all the decent details, but yeah, I'm going to talk about me and my life. And so that's just the way it goes. Um, so yeah, I will keep you posted on what happens. And um, we'll take a pool or something um, to when she calls. And uh, so give me your dates. And, what you guys think about the whole situation, and uh, if it's ever happened to any of you, uh, any of you out there that similar situation or something uh, like that. So, with that, I'll say goodnight, and um, I'll talk to you later when I make my next video on uh, plea and as to what's going on in my world. All right, talk to you later.